Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today we're going to be looking at real time in browser speech recognition using WebGPU and Transformer JS to actually use speech in the browser. So, with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing that we're going to do, everyone, is we're going to go to this Hugging Face space, and basically, what we're going to do is look at this demo for the Whisper. Web GPO. Uh, it's real time in browser recognition. It's using the Whisper base, which is a 73 million parameter speech recognition mo model, and using Onyx and Transformer JS. So you can see that the audio, audio visualizer is already picking up my voice from the microphone and uh, able to do some kind of uh, visual. What we're going to do is actually load this model, and then we should be able to see real time uh, transcription. But what we want to show is also that if you go and look at your network, uh, right now I have, I'm have i on this WASM tab, and we want to pay attention to both Fetch and WASM. So we're going to go ahead and look at the model, and you can see it pulled it in really quickly. Uh, it could be uh, because it's cached, but uh, it, this was incredibly fast, and it's already doing the, the transcription in real time. You can see that it's trying to add punctuation and uh, the token count down here. If we go over to the WASM tab, this is all that was loaded. It's going through a worker to establish this and the size was four megabytes. So again, this is crazy fast for doing real time uh, transcription in the browser. Super helpful if you were trying to do uh, like chat based systems where you actually wanted to have voice in with your chat as without actually having to go out to open AI or some other um, closed source or even open source model that uh, requires a back end call, right? Again, we didn't fetch anything from our back end. This was just loaded through the browser. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to actually look at the repo and and dig into the code so if you come over here to transformers js the thing you want to note is you want to be on uh, the v3 branch this is the the new branch it's still experimental but it's going to be the next version of transformer js uh, a lot of great examples we've been trying to go through some of them it feels like every day they're coming out with uh, a new demo a new model that they're able to implement um, definitely really cool stuff so if we look at this example, so we go into Transformer JS examples and Whisper, then we're able to actually dive, dive into this code. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull this down, get this running on our local machine, and then we'll start digging into the code. So I'm going to use cursor. I'm already, I already have it pulled down, but you can do uh, a git clone and then come over here and just do this. Uh, we are, so I'm in the root, so what we need to do is go to examples, and then we're going to do web GPU, and go to whisper, and we'll do an npm install, and then we'll go ahead and do an npm run dev. And what we're going to do is we have our local host here, so we can get this up and running. We'll watch really quickly if we can get this uh, loaded. Again, super quick. You saw how quickly the the load time was for that. Again, some of it sometimes it's cached, and the first one's going to be slower, but still really impressive. So, if we look at some of the core files in here, we have our app, which is the main main file and what we're going to be looking at is how we're actually pulling in this worker so this worker.js is where we're actually going to do our logic for transformer js we're pulling in the model we're actually sending messages back and forth where you can see right here that as messages are coming being received we're actually going to be looking for the type of event that is being passed and then send that uh, data as well. So you can see most of this is for like loading. There's uh, some update, which is where you're updating the text. 
we're actually going to look and see where this is uh, is working. So if we continue down and we are looking at the recorder, this is all the information about starting and stopping the recording. And then what's happening here is we are actually looking at how this information is being sent with this code. So right here, it's saying as the recording is coming in, we're going to take a blob and chunk it. And so then we're going to make a file reader and read those and then send that on when the file is being read, get that bit information that's decoded, slice it, and then send those slices over to our worker. So we're posting the message to generate our transcription on the fly. Then this is just our, uh, our HTML that we're going to be pulling in. So what we'll do is we'll jump over to the worker and then we'll take a look at how this is actually functioning. Real quick, everyone, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And with that, let's get back to it. All right, so now that we're in our worker file, we're gonna start looking at how this actually functions. First thing is we're loading in transformers. We're gonna pull in our auto tokenizer, our auto processor, and then uh, whisper and text stream as well as full. So if we look at what we're first doing. We have this class, which is our pipeline, and then we're actually using our instance where we're getting our model. So we're saying this is our model ID. We have our tokenizer, our processor. We're actually getting the model based on our ID at this point. Uh, we're telling it what our D type is, and then specifically we're using device web GPU. And once all of these have processed, uh, then our get instance has been established. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can kind of look at like some of the loader functions. So you can see here, there's the load. This happens like where we're actually posting back messages to actually see the progress bar and things like that. We're establishing some events based on our message. And then once the, the browser, uh, or once the model is actually loaded, we're gonna be looking for this generate function. This function is what really is going to be taking the audio and taking the language and then actually processing it. So the first thing we'll be doing is saying is if, if processing return, if it is not processing, then go ahead and set that processing to, to true maintaining state. We're actually going to send a message back to say that we're trans that the thread is starting. So we're saying start as our status. And then we're actually pulling in our instance. So again, where we set our tokenizer and our processor and model, we're actually pulling that from our um, instance and we're starting to actually process. So we have our callback function, which is gonna give us the output of our post message of update and information about our TPS, our tokens and our actual output. And then we're, we have our streamer and we, this is where we're actually processing our information. So what we're saying is our input, we're taking our auto, audio and we're uh, putting it through our processor. We're then, this is our transcription, <clears throat> our transcription based on our model and our generate. We're saying we're passing our same inputs, our language, and we're actually streaming the events or streaming the output so now we have our tokenizer. This gives us the information that's displayed in the bottom right of how many tokens we're actually using. And then we're posting back that chunk of text as it is complete. And so remember, if we are looking at what these post messages are, we're coming back here and that is the information that is being on, on message received. So if we look down to update, we're seeing that we're setting our TPS here as well as uh, our message. So our on message right here, this is where we're being sending the information back. And then that's how we're actually passing information down here. So this is where our TPS is. And then uh, 
the re this the rest of the progress bar in the audio. I'm looking for the actual uh, information around the text. Oh, it's right here. So on ready, we're passing the information of the text that's being updated. And that's how this works, is we basically are taking this information from after it, after it passes, passes through the model, and then right here, so being generated by the model, and then posting that information back. So it's processing the audio chunk, it is uh, audio chunk, and it's uh, then converting that and doing a transcription on this generation, then it's streaming, it's doing the tokenizer, and posting all that information back. All right, everyone, that's it for us today. What we covered was using real-time speech recognition in the browser with WebGPU and Transformers.js. We were able to dig through some of their repo and actually get their demo up and running. And so with that, happy nerding.